It's your thoughts on tonight and the win? Well, it, it, again, it's always uh, it's always a great night when you win. Uh, it never gets old. I've done this quite a few years, and I appreciate all the support from my constituents. And I think that it, it's an affirmation of the job that I'm doing, and I hope that they appreciate that. And uh, you know, again, I'm just happy that uh, the Republicans picked up a seat tonight on council, and uh, maybe another one depending on how the absentee ballots go. So we'll have to see who who's chosen president and. Uh, that may, might change some things. I like Greg personally. I think he's a, he's a great guy. I've enjoyed working with him. Um, you know, it's a bittersweet moment in terms, on a personal side, uh, he's always treated me with respect. We've had a great relationship, uh, and I'm going to miss having him there. On the political side, obviously, there's some differences, but, you know, when you, when you, when you work that closely with someone for over a decade, uh, there, there's, there's a little bittersweetness to it. Um, and, and again, you know, I think that I want to thank Greg for his commitment to this community. People see yes, yes, yes. They don't see the work that goes in uh, behind the closed doors of the, not the closed doors, but the, the committees. The committees. Nobody comes to the committee meetings. And we, we welcome people to come, put their input in, uh, give us some input on the various things that we vote on, and come to the regular council sessions and, and voice their opinions on all sorts of issues, whether it be budget, whether it be the library, whether it be taxes, whether it be housing, crime, whatever.